I always want to start off and, and give A&T credit. You know, um, you know, coming in the game, we knew we knew they were really talented at the guard position, and so uh, that was a heavy emphasis for us uh, coming into the game, being able to uh, contain their guards. Um, you know, Cam Woods, um, the Horton kid, number 24, and then um, number four. We knew they were really talented, and they've been playing really well, especially number four. So we had to lock in there. And I thought, um, you know, number four got going a little bit early, um, but he made, he made some tough shots. We forced him into some tough shots. And um, they were n never really re uh, able to get into a flow of the game. And I thought from start to finish, we were completely locked in, and um, we executed our game plan. Questions for Coach Coach, I'm just looking at the plus minuses of the players that you mentioned, and I don't think I need to put them in the microphone. They're not very positive for a &T. <laughs> Just, um, you know, kind of elaborate further on the specifics of what, you know, this whole, you know, the, going into this game, what the message was, and, you know, making sure that defensive performance was as stout as it was. Well, the overall message for us was we have to be um, desperate. You know, we have to play that way every possession um, and, and really compete. You know, I told them everybody in this league, everybody in the country, they play hard, but um, it's only a, a elite uh, amount of people that that compete. Um, and and if we competed, we'd win the game. And I thought we outcompeted them. And coming into the game, we had been working offensively on moving the basketball. Um, you know, we overemphasized moving the basketball and and making simple plays. Um, with that, you work on your defense too, and I think it helped us. You know, with our transition defense, we're trying to run a little bit more. Uh, offensively, it helped our transition defense. In the half court, it helped our defense because uh, we were working on moving the ball. So we were able to get off balance and try to, uh, you know, recuperate a little bit and get ourselves back together. So I, I think overall this week was uh, really good for us. It came at the right time, and we were able to really grow and get better as a team overall. I don't want to put – Words in your mouth, but a lot of people who follow the team are you know saying things like you know we're back and you know, we counted us out and things like that. Well, what does a big win like tonight kind of help you to you know springboard you into you know this you know rounding third entering into the home stretch? Well, what we were experiencing, and in, in my opinion, was just the season. Um, you know, it's hard to play at the level that we were playing at. Um, we were on our 13 game winning streak. It's hard to play at that level the entire season. And in the season, you experience rough patches. But the thing about it is uh, you see some teams handle that time uh, not so well, and then they just continue to struggle. Uh, and then you see teams that continue to stick with their process, keep punching the clock, keep, keep their spirit up, and uh, able to work through it. And those are the teams that are – are able to compete and win these games and have a chance at the end of the day. So that's what it was to me. Nah, none of us ever panicked, um, and I get it. Uh, but that was just a little rough spurt, and we were able to work our way through it, and we're still working our way through it. Um, hopefully that game can be something that we can build on, and I know the guys are hungry for more. Um, last one for me. Uh, obviously, Shy won the toughest chain tonight. Um, came out very aggressive. Um, and he admitted that the past month, you know, he'd been dealing with illnesses and he wasn't 100%. Um, from your perspective, what's it like having a 100% Shaquem Phillips and just, you know, what your you know emotions and thoughts were about his performance? Yeah, I thought he played well. Um, it wasn't just a scoring. You know, he had five assists and one turnover. Um, you know, he played with great poise. He made the right plays. Uh, offensively, defensively, he was all over the place. He set the tone. Uh, having him out there, a healthy Shaquem Phillips, he's one of the elite guards in this league. Um, I think we all know that. He's been able to get some consistent practice time. He's been in the gym working his way through his rough spurt. Um, you know, he's, he's starting to build his confidence back up. So having him only helps us. Having a healthy Shaquem only helps us because uh, he's experienced. And uh, in order to win games, you have to have really good guard play. And uh, we need him to continue to keep growing. Yeah, Saturday going up to William & Mary, obviously tough result against them here last time. What's the attitude like going back up to get your chance at them again? Well, I hope for our guys, and I think it will be this, this way, just, um, you know, we owe them. Um, but the main thing is for us to go out there and, and continue to play well um, so we can grow within that 40 minutes um, so we can leave there feeling feeling good about ourselves uh, as we keep moving forward. That's the main thing, just to keep getting better. And then my uh, last one. So, uh, some people are saying that this big win might be correlating you buying tacos for students on Tuesday. <laughs> you think you're going to start continuing to do that? <laughs> who, who said that? 
<laughs> maybe maybe so yeah yeah maybe maybe so maybe we need to start buying tacos for every every home game uh but that was awesome you know our um you know i appreciate the students coming out I appreciate uh, everybody coming out. That was that was awesome to have, um, you know, a pretty packed crowd in there, and and we love them. Um, they help us out so much, and this week has been super fun getting out, being around the students, and um, interacting with them. Um, we have we have the best fans, some of the best students in the country. So um, maybe I'll buy them tacos for the next home game too. <laughs>